Tonight is the biggest night on Broadway, the Tonys. Leading with a staggering 11 nominations is A Strange Loop by playwright Michael R. Jackson. It's a musical about a fat black gay man writing a musical about a fat black gay man writing a musical about a, well, you get it. It's been breaking barriers, opening doors, and collecting awards along the way. L. Morgan Lee, who plays Thought One in the musical, is the first out transgender actress ever to be nominated for a Tony. And tonight, we'll find out if she makes history again. I had the opportunity to sit down with her and discuss what her nomination means to her and the LGBTQ plus community. L. Morgan Lee, welcome to The Sunday Show. Thank you for having me. So you play Thought One in A Strange Loop. Mm -hmm. Who is Thought One? Oh, Thought One is lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> Thought One is primarily the sympathetic ear um, who gives Usher advice on, on living more authentically and being giving Usher permission to live more authentically um, because she did not. She did not. She's looking back over her own life and realizing that she did not take what she had, take advantage of the things that she had, um, and does not want to see another human have to experience that kind of regret in so many ways. So, a, a strange loop bills itself as, uh, correct me if, if I get this wrong, a big black queer ass American musical. I asked Michael Michael R. Jackson mm -hmm. if I was correct in thinking that a strange loop is a subversive, a subversive play, a subversive musical that it lures you in in this one way. But then when you start paying attention to what you're seeing and what you're what you're listening to, that you come away with a different message. Do you view a strange loop as a in a in a nice way, a subversive musical? Oh, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> but I, I think any any great piece of art is going to be that. And like with each view, you also will take away something slightly different. Mm -hmm. um, there are people who could come see our show and simply go, oh, these songs are great and they have a great time on that stage and it seems really emotional, but there's a lot of great stuff. And there's others who come away with like conversations that they've never had with family members, with friends, with people that they love. Um, it's it is it is a feast uh, with many tastes. <laughs> so I kind of buried the lead in, in this interview. It's like, it's great to talk to you because you're L. Morgan Lee. Yeah. And you are in a strange loop, but you're nominated for a uh, Tony. <laughs> and what makes your nomination historic is that you are the first out transgender woman nominated for a Tony for a leading role. Please. Share with me, share with us what that means to you. Oh, God. Um, my, my only mission is to be the, the hero that I needed to see. Um, so for me, even being on stage in this Broadway show in a role that is a principal, particularly in a role that is simply a woman, that my transness is not a subject matter in this piece. Um, I can bring that to the role if I want to as an actress, but it is not a requirement. Someone was not creating a role that was trans for me. Um, and so it allows me to simply be. Um, and that is something that I think trans people and people who are in underrepresented groups in general are sort of seeking more of spaces where we are allowed to simply be and bring our own intersections into the thing that we're doing instead of having it be given to us by people who are not ex or not living those lives. Um, representation is everything. I say these words and slightly roll my eyes because I think that the idea of representation and inclusivity and diversity and these words that get tossed around, um, I think they're so often sort of taken for granted and and use as check marks and in this project it feels like i was in the right space that the universe put me in at the right time can we talk more uh, about your transition simply because when you got involved with strange loop you had not started your transition no. um and yet you stayed with the production through the transition talk about how important that was to you that Michael R. Jackson said, 
there's n you don't have to go anywhere. Stay right where you are. Yeah, I, I, I actually tried to leave the production at one point in the process because I did not feel like it was my place to tell this story. Um, and I love what the story is, and I think that the lens itself is so specific, and there should be care to how that lens is delivered. Um, and so for me, it was like, well, this is a time where I'm feeling a bit disconnected from what the story is in many ways, and I need to take a step back and allow that space for someone who should be there telling it. I will be in the front row rooting you all on. I will, I will be the biggest fan of you, um, but I'm not convinced that this is a space for me. Um, and the team came back and we had some conversations and here I am today, still <laughs> with the piece. Um, I think it's, 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 I mean, it, it, there is a world, there is a world where, there's a world where any, anything could have happened in that conversation back and forth, but the fact that I was able to remain with the piece, um, I think gives it more reach. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of the things that I love about the piece the most is that it, again, it opens conversations. So there are lots of chats that I'm able to have with people now that I might not have been able to have with people before if I had not stayed with the piece. Um, because inside of this loop is a whole lot of complexity and a whole lot of nuance. So it's giving people a chance to talk about the things that we don't talk about enough. Mm -hmm. What would you tell 10-year-old L. Morgan Lee, if you, if you had a chance to go back in time and talk to you? Sure. I would say the thoughts that you are having where you don't feel like others see you clearly, they're not crazy. You know who you are. Keep going. Keep being honest. Keep studying keep working hard in school, keep preparing yourself because one day all of those things are going to add up. And you're going to be able to make a difference for so many other girls. What's the, what's the best piece of advice you've gotten from an LGBTQ elder? Um, savor each moment. Take a, take a beat in, in this period where things are going to be going kind of wild and seem out of control. Um, savor each moment that you can. Like at the end of a day, really take a moment and think about what you did that day and find that, if nothing else, that that can ground you in a lot of this because so much has happened in just a couple months. <laughs> so, so taking moments to like, make sure that your feet are clearly on the ground has been very important to me. Um, because I don't, I don't ever want to lose track of, of the fact that dreams are coming true. It's so easy to get lost in the shuffle of everything and to constantly be saying, I'm someone who being a first, which even feels weird to say, um, sort of, it, it is a great responsibility to me to make sure that there are others who are able to get in the door. The fact that I am a first means there's not enough representation to begin with. Tony nominated L. Morgan Lee. Um, congratulations on the nominations. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I also sat down with L. Morgan Lee's castmate from A Strange Loop, Tony nominated actor Jaquel Spivey and the playwright, also Tony nominated for a tone, a <laughs> you know what I mean. His name is Michael R. Jackson for a special Pride Month presentation called Pride of Stage and Screen. The hour long special will feature LGBTQ plus actors like Laverne Cox, Harvey Firestein, and Wilson Cruz. Be sure to catch it on Sunday, June 26th at 10 p.m. Eastern right here on MSNBC.